Hello, welcome to this first uh, tutorial on digital electronics. We introduce you to what is a number system. Simply put, a number system is a way to represent numbers. We are used to using the base 10 number system, which is also called decimal. Other common number systems include base 16 the hexadecimal, base 8 octal, and base 2 binary. Base 2 binary. Base 2 binary, binary means 2. In this number system, only two digits are allowed 0 and 1. Digits 2 to 9 are not allowed. Octal space 8. Octal means 8. In this number system, 8 digits are allowed from 0 to 7. Digits 8 and 9 are not allowed. Decimal, um, the decimal number system it includes 10 different character, characters, 1 to 9. Hexadecimal, hexadecimal means 16, and in this number system, 16 digits are allowed, which we use all 10 digits in the number system plus A, B, C, D, E, and F. The sign magnitude system. In the sign magnitude system, the mo leftmost bit is called the sign bit, and the other bits are the magnitude bits. We will look at this further in the num system doc, but you can see it there. The ones complement system. Another way of representing negative numbers is the ones complement system. Positive numbers are represented in the same way as positive sign magnitude numbers. The twos complement system. The twos complement system positive numbers are represented in the same way as the ones complement system and as the sign magnitude system. Negative numbers are represented by changing the ones to zeros and the zeros to ones and adding one. Binary coded decimal B C D. In computing and electronic systems, binary coded decimal is a class of binary encodings for decimal numbers where each digit is represented by a fixed number of bits, usually 4 or 8. Sometimes special bit patterns are used for a sign and other indications, i.e. error or overflow. Other number systems. There is also base 32 and base 64 and so on. See the link below. Let's look at this table that shows how we're counting from decimal to binary. Decimal starts off at 0, goes all the way up to 15. Binary starts off at 0, 0, 0, 0, goes all the way up to 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, if we go down here further, we can show the conversion. You have to divide by 2 to convert from decimal to binary. Um, just go down, down further. To convert from decimal to octave, you divide by 8. This is the conversion table between decimal, all the way up to octal there. Octal skips over 8, 9, and it goes from 10, 11, 12, 13, and so on. Hexadecimal, here we go. So decimal goes from 0 all the way up to 17 here. Hexadecimal goes all the way up from A, not from. 0 to F and then rolls over to 10, 11 and so on and so on. You can see here that we can be able to convert binary numbers to hexadecimal numbers by doing groups of 4 at a time. Same here, uh, that converts to B5 DE. Uh, we do the reverse for binary coded decimal. Let's go down here. Uh, this is magnitude, one's complement, one, two's complement. Oh, the complete table is down here. So we're able to count up to 15. Uh, this is the highest you can get on a, a 8 bit system. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then there's the minus values down here. So. As I was saying earlier, uh, 1 means minus, 0 means plus, 
So the first digit is a plus, if it's zero, it's zero. It's a plus value. Uh, if it's not, it's going to be a minus value. And they go the inverse. So from the highest you can get to the lowest you can get in the highest range. You can use the scientific calculator to convert between hex, decimal, octave, and binary. Such as one here, kcalc, which is built into uh, KDE. So we can go, say, select hex A, and it shows the text. decimal is 10, octave is 12, and 1010 for binary. If you want more resources, try this box, Digital Fundamentals 11th edition. I'll put the link in the description. Go to chapter 2 and it's got like, all about number systems, operations and codes. It covers everything we've done already. Let's go flick through it and see what we have here. Decimal systems, talks about decimal systems. Binary numbers. Table binary numbers here. Applications for it and all. It's a good resource. Go binary to the decimal to binary converter. Uh, binary arithmetic. Binary numbers. Oh, one's complement. Two's complement. Signed numbers, which is very important. That's the yeah sign numbers here earlier. Um, one, two is copied again. Signed integer numbers then. Floating point numbers. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else we try that here? Hexadecimal numbers. Here we go. Shows binary, next decimal, and hexadecimal. Counting. How it does has counting between them and the converting stuff. So um, Stacking, subtraction, octal numbers as well. Decimal, no binary code is decimal, ECT. And the else we got digital codes, the grey code. That's I didn't cover that, but that's also there as well. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, alphanumeric codes. Which is like ASCII, uh, it's a Unicode series now as well. It's ASCII in the side there. I get to flip it, can we flip it down there? Let's see. Let's flip this again. Orientation. Go right. So, this is the entire table of ASCII. Set of binaries there, and all the way up to hex 7f. This is what your computer sees in terms of numbers and stuff. Uh, back to where it was. To the next page. Here's extended ASCII characters in Unicode. And then it's error coding in CRC. Uh, Recently checks and stuff. Uh, these are all types of error codes and stuff. I'm not going to go into them, but they're there to be there. You can see what they do. It's all covered in chapter 2. And then luggage, or these. We're probably going to do the luggage next for the next video, but not this one. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked it. Um, leave messages as well, and I'll get back to you in the next one. Thank you.